What's going on YouTube, Giosna right here. So in today's video I have something very important to discuss, especially for those of you who are interested in jailbreaking 14.7, 14.6 and so on, and especially on the A12 and newer, but not only. You should definitely save your blobs. Yes, I know you've been saving them for a while and yes, I know you don't want to save them anymore because you never use them and so on, but this time is important because iOS 14.7 is indeed signed, but it will not stay signed for so long. And this one is not like the other times you saved iOS blobs. This version already has a publicly available vulnerability usable for a jailbreak, the one that was released by Saur Amar in here. They posted, quote, so as it turns out, an LPE vulnerability, LPE stands for local privilege escalation, by the way, I found four months ago in IOMFB is now patched in 14.7.1 as in the wild. So they posted the write-up with the whole vulnerability. I talked about it in my previous videos, but this one is indeed usable for a jailbreak, especially for the Pawn My jailbreak, which is the Safari-based jailbreak or WebKit-based jailbreak. This one works directly from Safari. So if you want to be able to jailbreak in the future, and if you don't want to be trapped out, definitely go ahead and save your 14.7 blobs, because that vulnerability works from 14.7 and lower. So do I recommend you to update the 14.7 right now? No, stay where you are, but I do highly recommend you to save your blobs. Now don't just use any tool. The TSS saver won't work for the 812 and 813 devices. You need to be jailbroken to get the information required for that and other tools may as well be broken. What I use is blob saver, this one in here, which is completely free and it works on 812, 813 and 814 as well and it can actually read the information that you need from the device. I did make a tutorial for 813, 812 and 814 on this program so definitely check it out in the link below. But yeah, you can find it here on GitHub, completely open source, you know what you're running so you can definitely get it from here on the releases and the latest version is 3.0.1 and this one is available for Linux, Windows and even Mac OS so you can get the version you need from here. If you're on Windows you use the Windows executable file, if you're on Linux you get the tar.gz or the deb file in there or if you're on a Mac you get a DMG file so definitely get it. I'm going to quickly show you how to use it in this video. At first you need your ACID. So important, it doesn't matter what iOS version you're running right now, plug in your device, it can be on 14.3, it can be on 14.6, 14.4, it doesn't matter, you don't have to update it to 14.7 in order to save the blobs. But another important thing is that you cannot use somebody else's blobs. If I send you my 14.7 blobs, you will not be able to use them for downgrades and upgrades. And by the way, you're going to ask me, well, how do I even use those? Here on my website on iDeviceCentral.com, if you go ahead here on the home screen, there are tutorials on how to do this. You scroll down all the way in here and there is the future restored SEP and basepen compatibility chart because you need to use the compatible SEP and basepen for this. And then you have a how to use future restore to downgrade or upgrade with SHSH blobs. And this post in here contains absolutely everything you need to know, every step, every download that you need and every single thing, including photos with where you can find the generators and so on. The commands for Windows, Mac and Linux and how to do them and how it should look like once you're doing it correctly. And for iPod, pods and iPad and so on and even a video here and a troubleshooter for various errors. So you have a lot of information in here on how to use the blobs. Now you cannot say that you don't have the right info. As for the SEP compatibility, you go ahead in here on the SEP and baseband chart. And once you go here, you will be able to see which iOS version is supported for SEP and baseband and so on and on which devices it may fail and so on. So you have everything you need in here. Just save your blobs because you never know when you need them, especially that now we have a vulnerability for 14.7. So 14.7 is valuable for the jailbreak community. So I'm going to show you how to use this real quick, but I made videos about it in the past. So for the ACID, all you need to do is to plug in your device, no matter what version, and press read from device in here. It will automatically read the ACID, the type of the device, the model in here, and it will attempt to save all signed versions. If you have an A12, you will need to press read device from here as well. But in this case, this one is not A12. For an A12 tutorial, check out in the card or down below. So I'm going to press go now and it's going to save the blobs. It's as easy as that. It's a one minute job. You download this, you have it and that's it. You just press a couple of buttons and as you can see it saves blobs for 14.7.1 and 14.7 and that's it. That's all you need it to do. It saves them locally here in your documents in a blobs folder. You can see today we got these in here. I have a couple of them from May, I have a couple of them from June and they are saved on your computer not remotely somewhere so that's actually great. This is a 
available, as I said, on GitHub and it's available for free. Do yourself a favor and do save the blobs because this vulnerability in here is usable for a jailbreak and it works on 14.7. And right now 14.7 is indeed signed. If you check here on my website, it says 14.7 is signed, but it will not stay signed for too long. It's already been enough and Apple will probably unsign it very soon. So that's basically it, an important announcement. Save your blobs. It takes a minute. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Peace out.